What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the bunker back from holiday, wherever he went. But watch some good fireworks. You know, it was good. He did a great job on that solo video yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. It, uh, it was. I feel like you're going to chop me up with that lightsaber. Guys, if you are new here, please do not forget to become a superstar. Hit the subscribe button down below. We know there's a lot of you guys who just watch and have not hit the subscribe button below. But let me tell you this. We have that intro that you just watched. If you are a subscriber, if you are a superstar, it will mean to you that you would have seen the lightsabers. So only the superstars were able to see the lightsabers. If you're a superstar, let them know in the comments that you saw the lightsabers in the intro so that they become a superstar and they hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the bell notification so you know when we post. This one came out a little bit earlier today, a little bit in the middle. So if you want to be first and get that first dibs luck, whoever gets first usually has great luck on the drop. I mean, it always happens. Ask anybody who was first on past videos. Um, follow us on Twitter. That's where everything's happening. We're retweeting everything that VV puts out. If you miss it, you got to have our bell notifications on. You're going to get double the hits of the notifications. Instagram, TikTok, follow those. Send us videos, pictures. We'll post them, make you famous. Um, follow us on VV. Get some MCP points. Have some more friends. We'll follow you back. Once we get access to the web app, I'm going to honestly go through everyone who's following us and just smash follow because right now it's like, really impossible on the phone you don't know who follows you you have no it's, clue it's just the feed is ridiculous like you go through it you open yeah. the feed and it's like this person did this this person did this it's impossible like that to, like, follow for follow is impossible if you think about it because if you have someone with a lot of follows if they they don't even know you followed them they're gonna get so many notifications once you get like 10 people on your app you'll know what i'm talking about you don't even need like whatever we're at four, four or five hundred it doesn't matter when you're at 10 people you yeah. cannot function on the, on the the feed or on the <clears throat> notifications. It doesn't matter. So yeah. on the web app, I think it's a little bit easier because you can actually click followers and go in through that way. So well, hopefully we get we'll web app for, for that account. Hashtag soon. We fix soon. Hashtag soon. We will fix it. By the uh, way, that YouTube utility eh, to see the lightsabers at the beginning. Yeah. The superstar lightsabers. You can only see them if you subscribe. Get that YouTube utility. Guys, I need to do another shout out here. <clears throat> oh, man. Superstar Rob stuff, hooking it up for Superstar Joe. Now I can get rid of this mess on this table because I finally finished the set. Uh, Superstar Rob stuff. If you do not follow Rob stuff on YouTube and Twitter, you are sadly missing out on great content. Um, he also got Gary V to respond to him yesterday. Like, ridiculous. Ridiculous. He? He oh, got yeah, Gary that's right. V on Twitter responding to his tweet. So Gary V knows about Rob stuff. So you should know about Rob stuff too. Go follow him. Give him a follow. And tell him on his video, thanks for hooking up Superstar Joe so he can clean his background up. And uh, maybe we'll figure something out for that wall back there. Maybe a little sidewall stuff. A, going a massive on. star would be kind of nice, actually, now I think about it. Even the bunker here. Yeah, you got to pass it by the wife. We'll uh, see. When I was doing my paint samples, <laughs> I should have done a star, actually, next time. Yeah, next you should have done a star of those samples. Next time I'm going to do it. It won't be. A, I don't know <laughs> if it's going to be a nice one. I'm not the most artistic, but we'll try it. I think anything you do will be nice, Rob. <laughs> So also, I wanted to oh, here we go. Yeah. bring up the Twitters. Um, today we had a drop. It was Avengers, West Coast Avengers number seven. Nice. And it's first appearance of Baby Shark, pretty much. Um, wanted to see, I know it's Land Shark, but I wanted uh, you to bring up that comment. Maybe so, it was yeah, a good time. First of all, I love the cover. Um, now this, like we had our superstar uh, comic book advisor, L Champ. Come in, in the comments like he always does. And he says, uh, don't know much about this comic other than that it doesn't sell for much even in a high grade. Because we called him out. We're like, hey, can you let us know? And he says, and it isn't sought out by collectors. Historically, the West Coast Avengers has been irrelevant team. Where B-League Avengers that don't cut it get sent to. Kind of like getting traded to the Detroit Lions. Big football fan. <laughs> Big football fan. Um, also, notice that the secret rare cover has a questionable image of a shark showing I don't know what you're off. talking about. Don't know what you're talking about on that one. <laughs> and then he call, he follows up, actually. He called it. So I, I say thanks for the analysis. And he called it. He said, uh, no worries, Rob. Well, not much to really say about this one other than it might be the first 10K mint that sells below retail. We should know by tomorrow's video. And we do know it did go below retail. The first 10K mint to go below retail. Look at that. What do you know? 5.38 wow. floor. Surprising, it's just there's just too much out there. There's just too much, there's just not enough cash. So 
uh, it's fine. This is a good comic to pick up for sure. If it's still 10 K, if you want to go for like a, a, the best D tier comic you can find and really these things should be like C's. Yeah. If you're building a, uh, superstar money vault, that ultra rare is looking really nice. Even the common could definitely accent. Yeah. You can have a common, you can have the, even the rare, like any of these, any of these four, even maybe the secret, you could probably pick up this whole set. You'd be seek superstar money colors yes. going on, you know? Yep. Um, okay. So let's continue. Today we had we had breaking news. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah. What heading a video. In, heading into Star Wars Celebration this weekend. Be on the lookout for videos on a few convention screens. Now that's marketing right there. I love the warp speed. So yeah. <laughs> this, this barcode is supposed to bring you to the VV app, I guess, for people who are going to the convention. And they're playing it every so often. I think, I think there was a spaces about it and they talked about it. I don't yeah. know the exact details. I wasn't in the space, but I did yeah. catch a little bit of the aftermath on Twitter and hear what people say. Yeah. Um, and he says, what do you say we add some collectibles to this lineup? So, oh, you know, just, yeah, that's when we knew we were getting Star Wars uh, collectibles. Yeah. And I, when I saw that video, I got me a little bit hyped up because I'm like, whoa, like to me, that looks like a marketing video. So they started putting some videos together for the convention. Who knows where that's going to end up? It can go viral. Yeah. People can start saying, whoa, Star Wars, Star Wars and NFTs and digital collectibles. Let me scan that barcode and uh or that qr code and see see what this is all about and i love how they show the r2d2 as the as the selling point and, and the c3po and they show c3po in like real world setting they have the ar video going it's it's to draw attention and i think it's a good they do a good job even the comics they have in there yeah uh, the other one right after this they come out and they mention few things in star wars galaxy are as immediately recognizable as a lightsaber and uh, there's three lightsabers shown, but apparently we are getting five. Yeah. I don't know the variants. I'm not a Star Wars guy. Rob, probably, I don't know. If, if probably yellow tell. and white, I think. Maybe yellow so and white. You got the purple, you got the blue, and you got the green. Yeah. From watching other creators' videos, I, I hear that the green one is Yoda. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Actually, blue one is Anakin, young Anakin. They're okay. saying. Yeah. And this purple one, I don't remember the person's name. Well, but, uh, is that purple or red? It's kind of tough to tell, but it's purple. They, is it I purple? forget the name. You would know because you watch Star Wars, but well, then it, it um, so the, the color of the lightsaber, if I remember correctly, it matters. It, it depends on how that person tries to use the force, how they use the force will change the color of the lightsaber. So I think green is more like if you're on the good side of the course, purple, you're probably a little bit, you use a little bit more of the dark side, but not fully. I don't yeah. know what blue is. And then obviously red would be like Darth Vader. That would be full out yeah. uh, the dark side of the force. So, so we're getting we're getting two more. Apparently, I was watching my collectibles VV vibes. They were talking about them. And these are three from the, like the light, the light side. So they're, okay. uh, they're well the dark side. So my collectibles are speculating maybe you get two more that are light side as well. And then the next time they do a drop, because this is series one, maybe they do a drop of all dark side. Watch them just um, never give the red one this drop. I thought or, for sure they'd give the red one this drop. Or they give you the red one and Obi-Wan on this one because you got the Obi-Wan series coming out and maybe you hype that up and apparently Darth Vader's in there too, right? So oh, he's uh, he's in it. He's in it. So, so blue, that would, blue is for Jedi, by the way. So blue is, is just straight yeah. up for Jedi. And uh, I actually have them right here. There's actually five of them. It's it's red, green, blue, purple, and yellow. So Okay, that so means, maybe we do get red and yellow. As it, What's the red and yellow mean? The the yellow I know is the, I can't remember her name in the latest film. I think they 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 use less of the actual force and they use a different style. And then red is like used mostly the dark side of the force. Yeah. So it's all it's all on uh, Google, but it, there's more than just five. I think there's a whole bunch you of them. Pull as it the up. Can you pull it up? Yeah, you can pull it up over here. I got it. I can show what I got on the screen right here. All right, blues for uh, for Jedi, reds for Sith. They're eight. What are the eight color of lightsabers? Oh, I think they eight. added more orange. They got. Um, orange, purple, cyan, uh, magenta. You guys, let us know yellow. in the comments. We're we're not uh, super know. duper Star Wars uh, fanatic, but uh, Rob's watched all the movies. Um, so let us know what they mean, whose they are. I think Yoda and Anakin for sure. The other one, I I don't I remember the name, but I don't remember who it is. Uh, I don't know the show, so I can't really help you. Um, but uh, also, but why would they think... give the OG five? They should give the OG five here. But I agree. Let us know below. There's yeah, the white. I... This is this the she uses the white. Yeah. Who do you think's coming? What are the other two? Do you think Darth Vader is going to be coming? The the Darth Vader sword, um, or sorry, not sword. You don't kill me. <laughs> Lightsaber. Um, what do you think? Well, uh, you know, you swing it. You swing it like a sword, so it's not understandable. It's understandable. Exactly. Um, also, we got some other news today, uh, non Star Wars related, and pretty decent comic cover coming. 
uh, Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos. This is the first appearance of Nick Fury. Yes. Now, Rob's a little bit more of a bigger Marvel fan. So I think yeah. you have a little bit more to talk about for this one. Well, we all know who Nick Fury is, right? This guy basically assembled the Avengers. And, you know, speaking of uh, Samuel here, you got him you got him here. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it's a Tier B comic. So this is going to be a very well-known comic, comic for sure because Nick Fury is a pretty relevant character, not just in the past, but in the current MCU movies, actually. So um, definitely I when, I when I saw that this was the Tier B made sense, Nick Fury – you know, he's pretty popular in the actual physical world right now in the MCU. I don't know if it's going to be a super limited run. I think it's just a normal 30,000. So we'll have to run it through the spreadsheet when, the, when it gets confirmed just to see if it's yeah. worth going for. Like the, even these beer, these B rank comics are going underlisted as well. So nothing's really, uh, nothing's really safe unless it's an A rank. You're pretty much, you know, you're, you're playing the gambling game. You're going to go for it, but I, I'd be looking into this one. I'd be interested in owning it. If I can, uh, we'll see. Yeah, I still think the common will probably go under under listed. Well, especially with the Star Wars stuff coming out. Yeah, every all the hype is there. Um, I'm I'm curious to see if the market ends up uh, doing a little bit more of a dip. I think there's only been a very minor dip at this point. Uh, I, I, my prediction, to be honest with you, and I'm not a Star Wars guy, but there's been like little previews of of this character that BBH. I have a feeling that we're yeah. going to see that in one of the drops. Um, and when I say one one of the drops, let me explain to you why I say one of the drops. Um, if you haven't already seen it, anyway, we showed you this this video yeah. that VV posted, and Alex G is the biggest when? biggest troll of all time because he knows exactly what's coming up and when is it coming, yeah. and he puts when, and then yeah. five seconds later they post the, the lightsabers, and he says drop one of four, let's go. Oh, there so we go. There we go. know that we're getting four drops from the troll himself. Yeah, um, Alex G. Uh, he's always, gonna he's be always a, living us Easter eggs, though. I love that. About him. But how isn't this going to be a massive gem squeeze event? I think now might be a good opportunity if you are interested. You might actually have an opportunity to flip into some non-Star Wars things. Well, that's what I'm trying to do as well. I'm, I've been waiting for this day to be looking elsewhere. Um, now, especially with that new reservation thing, you can go buy other things. And then if you land a drop, you can pump in gems. You can go into the secondary market without the gems and pump in gems while you're reserving your order that's why i mentioned earlier yeah. a couple of weeks ago i said this is not the worst thing because you yeah. can go in with less gems you don't know what it's going to go for a secondary market so why look why preload the gems if you can load them afterwards having the collectible reserve for you just chilling waiting there for you yeah um, for sure and this is could be a good opportunity to, now what i'm worried about though is that creates that gems event and then there isn't more money added but on the flip side you saw that you saw that movie they're going to go to a convention Maybe this is the cusp of marketing. They're going to start bringing in some new people. If the new people come in, there's no stopping VV at that point. Once the yeah. fresh blood starts coming in and they start having an appetite for uh, for these digital uh, collectibles and they want into this into this party that we're all a part of, yeah. hands down, this thing can take off before we know it. It can start flying um, before we know it. So, I mean, it we can haven't just spread. The, the word can spread. The word it's can spread at one of these conventions and everybody could just start talking about that yeah. could be the talk of the thing. Yeah, I don't know if you got the gems in app that you can quickly pull up. I'm so just curious to see. Exactly. I was just going to say that. Um, here's the gems in app, column number L. Shout out putting cheeks for the sheet. Um, we have been going up um, since, I guess, three days ago. Yeah. <laughs> but there was a drop three days ago, right? So once we had the Deadpool drop, we dropped the 200,000 gems. And now we're going up. We went up 200 the next day. And then we went up another 90,000 ish today. Um, and this could be an anticipation for Star Wars. Even though it wasn't announced yet, people knew that there yeah. was something coming this weekend. I expect maybe tomorrow there might be even more gems pumped into the app just in anticipation. And maybe the next day more gems pumped into the app. And then when it actually comes, we still don't know how much it costs. Um, it could cost 100, 100 gems. It's going to be expensive high mint. Like I just – you just know David Yu is going to do that. Like, Well, look at the, look at the comic. He Yeah, he knows it has the popularity. So he's going to go high mint. And it's going to be expensive because it's going to sell out. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. they're here to make money. So yeah. why not? You know, you could put out a 100,000 mint lightsaber <laughs> and you can list it for $50 and it's going to sell out. Why not? Yeah. So you would expect that there will be a lot of money put into the app and for this drop and for the drops that are upcoming. Yeah. But at the same time, those gems will be immediately pulled from the market to buy the drop and secondary market purchases so i expect a huge a huge decrease in gems in app after after 
yeah. the the weekend. That's what I'm expecting. Unless they are able to, with the help of the convention, and maybe Star Wars will tweet it. Who knows? Yeah. Um, if they do that, maybe you bring in a lot of new people that helps to boost the numbers even more. And not everybody gets what they want, and some people are holding on to gems. That could happen. Um, but if we stay with the same crowd that we have now, this might tank the gems in app by a couple million, I would say. There, there could definitely be opportunity here. Drops like the Star Wars drops and getting yeah. more of them, that's what's ultimately going to bring in the new interested NFT people into this into this app. And we've already had v, uh, Gary V just give a, Vivi a huge shout out, finally succumb to the pressure of the community you're saying because he's just straight up ignoring vv i mean we all know he knows it he's yeah. talking about it all the time he has comics in the back as someone made a really funny video on twitter where he's like you see this this is going to be on digital this is going to be a digital collectible one day this is going to be a digital collectible uh <laughs> one day and then someone just completely made a huge joke about was it new mutants 98 that he has in the back hanging up yeah um so, and david you actually put i think the skeleton or he he responded to it um, cause it was, it's just, it was a hilarious video because he, like, he knows it's there, but he just pretends it's not. He's finally given recognition to Vivi and soon his supporters who are serious people in, I would call it investing as well as the, uh, the NFT space, because he's a big ambassador for Eva NFTs in general and blockchain and all that. Um, they're going to soon come over. So I think that the opportunity is, is we're, we're all in a really good position right now where yes, this bear market's allowing us to pick up cheap collectibles. But eventually, we may see what we've seen in Bitcoin and what we've seen in the first pump with NFT. And shrip, uh, shout out to a Kryptoni uh, who first said this. He called it the wealth transfer, right? So what we saw at first were people spending $3 for Todd's. There was then a wealth transfer from $3 to double digits. And then there was a wealth transfer from double digits to the hundreds. Then there was a wealth transfer from the hundreds to the thousands. So what we're seeing is that pullback right now, and we're in the range where these NFTs are in the tens and the hundreds. And one day we're going to see another wealth transfer from the hundreds to the thousands and the tens of thousands where you see Bitcoin at, right? It wasn't yeah, too, I remember, I remember when Bitcoin was two, $300. There was a wealth yeah. transfer to the thousands and then it was a bear market for a bit. And then it jumped to the 50,000 mark. So if we follow that same trend, the VV wealth transfer is waiting for all of yeah. us who are sitting here right now picking up collectibles along the way. I know you're selling, but you're going to buy back because we're, we're, we're in it every day. If well, the market now, starts ticking up. We're there. We're ready to go. Now is a, definitely a, a time when I'm looking around to, to buy back in. And obviously the reason I sold was because of what, there was no catalyst, nothing came through. Um, and not necessarily that I'm going to buy back into the Star Wars drop after the drop, but I do feel like there's some room for some of these collectibles to come down a little bit more. Uh, before they go back up, if we do get new people in, if Star Wars tweets us, it's game over. Maybe, um, maybe. It, it could be. I want to go for the far, next pump at helps. least. It, it will helps. help. It'll help bring money into the app. Yeah, uh, it'll, it'll help for sure. And maybe that's the beginning of something. That's why I kind of think it's game over. If if they get Star Wars tweeting it, it means that they're they're ready. But I don't think they're going to do that just because they don't have the MTL and MTP in place yet. Yeah. So. It's just another opportunity, buy an opportunity. People who don't get what they want on the Star Wars drop are going to start buying back into the collectibles that they tried to let go of uh, for the drop. So that's why I say it's a little bit of an opportunity because they're going to see that, that squeeze. People will buy back after the drop if they didn't, they weren't successful or bring right. it back up. Then it should trend back down until we get catalysts bringing more people into the app, more gems into the app. And uh, like Rob said, once they're ready and they pump this with marketing and with all of the tools that they have at their disposal, it's going to be the next transfer of wealth and it might even take place just as a part of secondary, uh, like not secondary macro, uh, marketing. You might get more Bitcoin and more NFT, uh, talks out there like uh, metaverse. I'm seeing new projects every single day. I actually just heard of one yesterday and I bought into it and me and you are going to do a video on that because you have some alternative NFT investments as well. Uh, so maybe we'll save it for that, but, um, there's just, it's something that's new and, and exciting and there's going to be utility coming and it's going to force the hands of, of these companies to do what, what people are asking. And, and like I think uh, Vivi kind of did here, I don't know if this was always their plan, maybe it was, but uh, there was a lot of pressure from the community to bring some Star Wars stuff this month and uh, they definitely delivered, definitely came through for the community. That's one of the things I love about the project is that they always are listening uh, to the community. I wonder though if we're going to get a golden moment 
Darth Vader as maybe the number four of the four <laughs> of the four drops. So that's why I think this is going to yeah. be a very interesting week for the market, and it's going to be an interesting week for Vivi as well, and especially put in Cheeks's uh, right. spreadsheet. I really want to know what happens. If are people going to put in more money to just buy the drop, or are they going to start using the gems in app to suck it up? Or maybe we're going to see some fresh new users that are now interested in getting in on this Disney. I mean, people will go go to the Vivi app, look how much R two D two is. Yeah. It's 2000 USD equivalent in gems. Check out the baseball player who took a photo with it on the field. You know, yeah. once these things start spreading, it might take a little bit of time. Eventually we we'll hopefully start getting people who are willing to now put in, you know, the thousands for what's now worth hundreds or in R2D2 take cases, the tens of thousands for what's yeah. currently worth thousands. So I, I think you're right. I think I, I, I see Disney trying to have some kind of a, putting their hands into Star Wars celebration a little bit because they do have the IP now, right? Um, they have Star Wars land at Disney World now or wherever it is. And in one of the parks there, they have they have a Star Wars land. So I see Disney kind of trying to take a piece of this celebration. Maybe not the whole thing. Maybe we're going to get regular Star Wars collectibles licensed by Lucasfilms doing their own statues. I could see that happening because we did see that the comic was not under Marvel or under uh, what yeah. Disney was under Lucasfilms. I could yeah. see that happen, but I could also see a couple more golden moments coming out in one of the drops, maybe a two, a double again, because that's typically what we've been seeing. Besides the duos, everything came out in pairs, right? right. Except for Walt. Um, and there is, I believe, a BB-8 golden moment, um, or not golden, yeah. golden statue. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that's just, one that we see. And, and is that is that a recent character? Um, yeah, he's he, he he's popular. Like he's not that popular though. But like, there's gonna be some hardcore Star Wars fans that are getting upset at that. But for me, he's not like you know the the deal breaker character. First of all, all Star Wars is gonna be popular. But of yeah. all the different characters, it's not like people are gonna lose their mind for him. I think he was in Boba Fett, if I remember correctly. Um, so he, sound, he sounds like there's some recency bias there. That, what, that's what I was trying to get at. Is that Vivi tends to do a lot of things with recency bias. We saw it with America Chavez comic. We saw it with. Like we see it with a bunch of stuff that's been released. You guys see that it has recency bias. So that's maybe why I'm leaning towards that being. Well, let one us know of, below. One of the someone, four. Someone's what do you watching guys down. Think? Yeah, someone's yeah. watching below. Let me remind me if it was Boba Fett or somewhere else. But uh who are you most excited for? Like would would you think a Darth Vader golden moment now is actually is this the time? Is now the chance they're gonna do it? And then another thing too is what about this whole idea of the wealth transfer? Are you ready for that time? Do you think it's near? Is Star Wars going to help be the catalyst or we got a little bit longer? So do not forget, if this is your first time watching, become a superstar. Smash that subscribe button. We want to hear from you. And that's why it's a call to my my questions. And you guys do a great job responding below. We got Superstar El Champ. I know he's going to be watching this video, giving us some more information now on the Nick Fury comic. Um, but yeah, join the Superstar fam. We'd love to hear from you. Respond to every single comment. And we will see you on the next one. Take care. Love you. Bye. Bye.